Hi, in this tutorial we're going to cover some of the basics of traditional animation and we're going to do this with a motion graph and we're going to do the, um, the classic bouncing ball animation. So I'm going to use the layer panel and add a layer to create this motion graph and th what this does is let us plot out our motion and save, uh, save having to worry about uh, that as we're drawing the frame. So I'll go ahead and just using this layer I'll draw out a motion of a bouncing ball and you can see it's just the, uh, the arc motion there and now I'll start plotting out where these frames will be, where the uh, ball will be on any particular frame. I'll just do that with these tick marks. Now as this uh, ball is going up, it'll start to decelerate until it reaches the uh, top of its arc and it'll stop and start to uh, accelerate back down. So there'll be actually more frames at the top because the ball is moving slower. So I'll actually use more frames up towards the top like this and less towards the bottom. It's the same going down as it is going up. So uh, you'll see this basically mirrored. And I'll just do the same for over here on the second mount. And now that we have that, we can take this layer and just dissolve it out so it's uh, not so in the way so much. And we'll just go back to our original layer. Now we can count these tick marks to see how many frames we have. That's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, about 16. I'll just create an animation of uh, about 16 or 17 frames. Hit OK. Now I can use the arrow keys to move back and forth through this animation. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the first frame of the ball. And since it just hit the ground here, it's going to be squashed because it's being compressed. Um, now I'll go to the next frame. And I'll use the, um, the light table button right here to see the previous frames. And I'll just go ahead and start drawing in my uh, frames. Now, since the ball is going up, it's going to stretch, and that's the uh, principle of squash and stretch that you hear about in uh, traditional animation. And as it keeps going up, it'll uh, regain its original size because uh, otherwise it would look like a jelly bean. And I'm just putting a, a ball on each one of these tick marks because we've already plotted out where the uh, where the ball is going to be. We just have to go in and draw these now. And remember, it's the same going down as it was going up, so it's going to start to stretch here because of the velocity and then it'll uh, squash as it hits. Just try to remain, uh, maintain that same volume. Actually, I made that probably a little too big. You can always undo and go back in and redraw. And we'll just go ahead and uh, finish off the animation now. Not really worried too much about what I'm drawing. It's just getting the motion down that counts. And since I got that done now, I can uh, turn off light table and just back, go back and forth through it. As you can see, that is our bouncing ball animation, and you've just taken your first step into traditional animation.